What if I told you this tiny box right here could replace your entire desktop setup, handle legitimate work tasks, and even do some video editing while using up to three 4K monitors? You're probably going to doubt that claim or label it as hype, right? It does sound like hype. But I don't like to hype things, I like to keep it real around here, so I'm going to show you the shocking truth about this desktop. This desktop is the Peladin W04, and it's a mini PC that packs a ton of power under the hood. This desktop has been sitting on my desk for the last couple weeks, and I've been using it for a lot of different tasks, and I continue to be surprised at how well it handles those tasks. So let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about what's actually inside this thing. Specs on paper are one thing, but performance is what actually matters. And the heart of this machine is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H processor. This is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. And the CPU can boost all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz. So this isn't some wimpy laptop processor. This is legitimate silicone that can do quite a bit. And this isn't newest and greatest, but this desktop only costs $250. That's it. And as you're going to see in a moment, that $250 price tag is astounding considering what this has inside and the software OS that it's running. So to put the CPU into perspective, this processor scores about 10,000 points in Cinebench R23 multi-core. So that's approaching desktop Ryzen 5 3600 territory, which is still a solid CPU in 2025. But here's where things get really interesting. Out of the box, you get 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM, which is really perfect for most tasks. But here's the kicker, you can upgrade this thing all the way to 64 gigabytes of RAM. That means this tiny little box right here can have as much RAM as most people's gaming PCs. Storage wise, this starts off with a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And the best part is, is this is expandable. You can add more storage if you need to. And as I mentioned before, let's talk about this magnetic top cover right here. I've seen a lot of mini PCs and most of them require screwdrivers, patience, and sometimes a prayer to upgrade, but not this one. One gentle lift and boom, you've got complete access to both RAM slots, the M.2 SSD slot, and the Wi-Fi card. Really, this is how every mini PC should be designed. It's so simple, yet so brilliant. And size-wise, we're talking about something that measures about 5 inches by 5 inches by 2 inches. This PC is truly a tiny PC, and it fits in the palm of the hand. And as far as being able to transport this, I can fit this PC in my laptop bag. And I can transport this with my laptop. But speaking of things that surprise me about this tiny PC, the port selection is also quite surprising. On the back, you've got two USB-A ports, you've got HDMI, you've got DisplayPort, you've got dual Ethernet, and on the front here, you have an audio jack with some additional ports. This is basically everything you need without having to mess with dongles or adapters, which can be super unreliable with a lot of desktops. So this is where you can literally run three 4K monitors. You can run one from HDMI, one from DisplayPort, and one from USB-C. And one thing you might be thinking is how does something this small stay cool? Peladin has implemented what they call a pure copper heat pipe design. And surprisingly, it works quite well. Even under heavy load, this thing runs whisper quiet. You can barely hear the fans even when you're doing video editing on here and really pushing this thing to its limits. All right, so enough talk. Let's see what this can actually do. So I use some Word and Excel on here. I had some browsers open, I had YouTube going on one screen, had a little bit of video editing going on the other. I just wanted to show you what this can and cannot do. And again, it's $250. The fact this can even do those basic things at that price is amazing. So as I mentioned earlier, in Cinebench R23, we're seeing that multi-core score right around 10,000. And then that single core score is right around 1,000 to 1,300. That's solid performance that will handle a lot of basic tasks. It'll also handle some basic gaming on 1080p, and it'll also handle some basic video editing. Now, don't expect miracles with super heavy workloads, but what it can do, it punches well above its price tag. For productivity work, this thing is shockingly good. And if you want more multitasking power, simply upgrade that RAM to 32 or 64 gigabytes, and you'll be able to do even more multitasking. 
But here's the feature that really sets this tiny PC apart from a lot of the competition. I have this PC running three 4K monitors all at the same time. So I'm using the HDMI port, I'm using the display port, and I'm using the USB-C port. And this tiny PC running three 4K monitors is not just impressive for a tiny PC, it's impressive for any PC under $500. The fact that this little box can push that much pixel real estate is shocking. So let's talk about price and value. The Peloton W04 with the AMD Ryzen 5600H CPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 RAM, and a 512 gigabyte NVMe currently sells for $250. Is this expensive for what you're getting? Absolutely not. It's a steal, especially if you compare this to, to some of the closest competitors with size, such as the Intel Nux or the Apple Mac Mini. For a configuration that also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, you're going to be paying at least twice the price. It's going to be at least $500. And realistically, it's going to be more like $800 to get those equivalent specs. And even building a traditional desktop with these same components, you're going to pay a lot more to build that desktop than buying this. So who is this perfect for? First of all, this is perfect for anybody working from home that's just looking to save space. Maybe you live in an apartment. Maybe you have a very limited office space. This is great for that. Five by five by two, it's super tiny. It doesn't have a big footprint at all. Second, this is great for college students or anybody who wants something small in a dorm room or a very tiny apartment that doesn't take up a lot of space. And third, this is great for anybody who wants that home theater PC. You can easily mount this behind a lot of TVs and it really can give you a good cable management. You don't have to have a lot of ugly cables hanging down or running in obvious places. There are mounts that you can get to mount this behind your TV. So that's also a great use case for this. So pros and cons, really I've gone through all the pros. One of the cons is you're not going to be doing heavy gaming or video editing on this. And any video editing that you do on here, it's going to take longer than a high powered PC. And while the components in here are upgradable, you are still limited by the integrated graphics that are available with the CPU. But at the price point of $250, the strengths far outweigh the weaknesses. And the magnetic upgrade system is brilliant, makes it super easy to work on and you can support three 4K monitors, and the performance is solid for the ways in which most people use computers. And I also forgot to mention, this has the Windows 11 Pro OS installed on it. So if you're familiar with Windows, there's no learning curve. You can just get up and running right away. So here's my take. If you need a powerful compact computer that can handle serious work, light gaming, and incredible multi-display setups without taking over your entire desk, the Peloton W04 is absolutely worth your consideration. It's not perfect, but it's really, really good at what it does for $250. And if you want to see more reviews like this, check out this playlist right here.